Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can control UVs on your materials inside Unreal Engine. For this particular tutorial I'm using Unreal Engine 5, but you can apply the same technique on previous versions of Unreal Engine. This includes Unreal Engine 4, all the way to 4.1 as far as I know. Anyway, let's cut long story short and I'm first gonna show you how the final material looks like, actually material graph. So if you want to skip the tutorial and just copy paste, you can do it. This is how it's done. So we have texture coordinate, scaling section, offset section, rotation section. And then just for the testing purposes, I'm using this sample texture, which I'm uh, using to input into base color. And you can also make this parameter so you can change your texture. But anyway, um, uh, let me show you now how it works in uh, practice. And then after that, I'm going to explain the graph in more detail. Anyway, let me open the material browser, actually content browser. And here I have created a material instance that I've applied to my uh, model. And uh, I'm going to open it. And I'm actually going to undock it like this so that you can more easily see how the material works in practice and here on the right side you can see my parameters laid out by groups and names so let's start with the offset 0 0.25 and as you can see it's working let's type in 0 0.5 so this is in U axis because you know UV UV is working UV W well not in XYZ but anyway you can you can label them however you want it's not that important and I can try this one since I applied offset of one nothing has changed and 0 0.5 well as you can see you can play with it no problem let's revert that back to default now uv rotation let's say that i want to rotate the logo for 45 degrees boom working no problem you can even do it like this if you prefer although it's a little bit laggy but anyway 0 45 90 60 135 110 whatever you want you can just type that in and it's gonna work scaling or UV tiling no problem whatsoever I can scale that twice actually let me put rotation back you can see now rotation now I guess I should no actually let me scale that down and I can now apply some offset 0 0.25 0 0.25 in the other axis and I can also combine all of these parameters together 45 90 whatever as you can see it's working so that was the practice part now let's go back to the graph and I'm gonna explain everything so the main thing that we need for the start is texture coordinate. So these are UVs being uh, taken from uh, the static mesh that you have uh, in your scene. And then we are doing something with uh, UVs of your static mesh. It doesn't necessarily have to be static mesh. It can be skeletal mesh or maybe even brush. Doesn't matter. And then we are dividing that by scale and you gotta understand that texture coordinates or uv's they are float to vector which means that they have two scalar parameters combined together
and th this is why I'm mo dividing that by this by these nodes. So this is scalar parameter, or that would be float one. That's for one axis, u axis in this case, and the other parameter is for v axis, and I'm appending them in order to get a single double float uh, value or float two vector in other words and then i mean that's for scaling okay and then pretty much the same thing for the offset however in this case i'm not neither multiplying or dividing i'm using add node but the logic behind it is the same. I have two float uh, parameters which I'm appending or combining into a single float2 vector. And that's it, just adding them, adding the value. For rotation, it's a little bit different. In order to rotate your UVs, you want to use something that is custom rotator. And you can just right click and type in custom rotator. By the way, I mean, if you don't know already, you can just right click and uh, type in divide or append whatever, whichever of the nodes that you need for this tutorial. Or you can also use palette, which is here on the right side. And yeah, search over there. Anyway, coming back to the ro uh, rotation part. So you want to use custom rotator and you want to define UEs. I mean, this is self-explanatory. You just connect the UEs, uh, UEs cable, UEs node. For the rotation center, by default, as you can see, if you ho hover over the description, you can see that default value is 0 0.50 and 0 0.50. And you can expose this as a separate parameter or you can just leave it as default. So this is basically defining, well, as the label says, rotation center or the pivot of your rotation. And if you have it set to 0 0.5 and 0 0.5, what this means is that rotation pivot is going to be right in the center. And if you had it set to 0 and 0, that would be skewed to the to one of the corners, or if you had it set to one and one, that then the rotation center would be skewed to the opposite diagonal corner. But anyway, um, you can, you can, as I said, you can expose it as a separate parameter or leave it as default. And now, UV rotation. So rotation angle, as you can see, it's minimum value is zero and maximum value is one and this is scalar parameter okay but in order to make things a little bit more uh, understandable for humans so that we can have degrees to to define the width so let's say that we want to rotate by 45 degrees uh if we didn't have this, we would have to type in 0 0.12. Yeah. If you, if you wanted to rotate your UVs by 90 degrees, you would have to type in 0 0.25. However, like I said, in order to make things more understandable for humans, I've, I've set the UV rotation value to be divided by minus 360 and I think that 360 part is very easy to understand but why minus well because if it wasn't minus let me show you then it would be going in the counterclockwise direction which is fine but I just prefer clockwise uh, direction of rotation and now let me demonstrate um i'm gonna type in 45 degrees and as you can see 
it's rotated towards the right side or clockwise side. But if I had this, oh, actually, sorry. Um, nope, I, sorry, I didn't apply. So I'm gonna apply zero here. Oh, actually, it's working. Sorry, my bad, my bad. So as you can see, this is the default. And if I type in 45, now it's rotating towards the left side or in the direction of uh, counterclockwise. But I prefer to have clockwise direction and that's why I'm gonna add minus before. And now, as you can see, it's rotating in the direction of clockwise. 45, 90, 180, whatever you want, 60, boom, it's working. It's important to note that you can use these nodes or these sets as uh, separate. For example, you could just make it so that you can only scale or tile your UVs approximately like this. Or you can just use offset. And that would work like this. And likewise, you could also use rotation only nodes. And that would look something like this. However, let's revert things back. Because why not have them all in a, in a single package? Right? And uh, yep, that's the that's the main part. And uh, I'm gonna break down all of these things in more detail for separate videos. But that's it. That's how you scale, offset or rotate your UVs. And uh, thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, share this to people uh, who would benefit from this. And yeah, have a good day. See ya. Thank you for watching. Bye.